Hello, I'm Sagar Asnani, and I am a PhD candidate in musicology and medieval studies here at Berkeley. And my interest is in the kind of the intersection between language and music in medieval, basically what's now France. So the poem I've chosen to read today is called Tan Mabelis l'amorous Pessament. The amorous thought delights me so. It's, it's a medieval Occitan poem by a troubadour named Fouquet de Marseillat. So they spoke Occitan, which is a language which actually is considered like an indigenous and endangered language because there's so few people who use it in their daily interactions today. But in the 12th century, in the southwest part of France, and centered around like Toulouse, Poitiers, this language was actually really, really uh, a prestige language. And it was uh, spoken by some of the most powerful princes and dukes and counts and kings of France. Tan mabelis l'amorous pessamens que ses vanguts et mon fin cor assir, per que noi pot nois autre pes caber, ni mais negus, no mes dus ni plazens, qu'a donc viu sasquan mausit sol cosir. Et fin amor salio jam mon martyr, qu'en promet joie, mas trop l'homme donna l'en, cap bel semblant, the rhyme scheme here is essentially Occitan, right? And for the first line, tan mabelis l'amorous pesamens, and pesamens with that end s sound is very Occitan. So if you go down to the fourth line, ni mais negus no mes dus ni plazens. And so there you have the same word plazens, which rhymes with pesamens, right? Ens is the rhyme scheme here. If this was French, plaisance. And so you would still, you would actually have that s, uh, s sound at the end of plaisance in French, but then it wouldn't rhyme with pansement. You know, features of this that are distinctly Occitan and in a, uh, are woven right into the very lyrics themselves. And so what's really interesting is that the same text, even though it might be very musical in one language, the moment you translate it, it, it loses a bit of that musicality because if you're trans when we're translating, we're translating for meaning not for sound. If you know the BTS uh, butter, right, smooth like butter, like a criminal undercover, that's not a play on English of really the words of what they mean. It's a play on English for how they sound. But I don't think they really cared if it was smooth like butter or smooth like margarine, right? You know, it's not, that's not the central aspect of that song. So while translation was always like interested in bringing the most out of the meaning, out of the semantics of the music, of the poetry, I think that, you know, music, has to deal with the sound of language 